halfway through the season, um, we've obviously seen you play the role of being in the end zone and do some things to help this team. Where, where do you go at in terms of you know, your role and just you know, how everything has come together? Yeah, for sure. Um, I've always, I mean, ever since my you know first game uh, in 2013, I've always been the type of guy to always have, uh, you know, when that opportunity arises, just make the most of it. Um, I've never been the guy like, oh, hey, I need the ball, I need the ball, I want the ball, I want the ball, I want, you know, this and that. Um, for me, you know, those opportunities are going to come and uh, you just have to make the most of it. I've just always been that kind of guy. Um, that's how I am. That's just in my DNA. So um, just make the play when it happens. So where's your comfort level like with, within this offense? Does it feel natural for you? I know for Tom last year, it took him a while, like mid-season even before he really felt like it was starting to be second nature. For sure, yeah. There's a, there's definitely a, a, a comfortability aspect to this offense uh, that I'm continuing to learn and continuing to grow. Um, you know, it, it always comes up, you know, in training camp, okay, I need to learn what I got to do. You know, okay, let me just figure out, I, gotta, I need to be in this position. Um, and then as, you know, the weeks come along, you start, getting an understanding of the whole offense and the understanding of uh, the general theme of, hey, this is why you're going in this position, you know? Um, so I'm getting to that point right now. I'm trying to start uh, to really understand the full offense and not just my own specific job on that thing. So um, continuing to learn, I think that's the biggest thing about football is uh, you never want to stay consistent. Uh, you want to continue to keep learning and growing. So, yeah. Yeah, and the, the knee injury back in Los Angeles, how long did that take you to get back to, to feeling like yourself? Yeah, uh, injuries are part of the game. Uh, I think that's something uh, guys after literally maybe after the first day of training camp, they're not going to feel 100 percent. You know, you come into the uh, to the league healthy, you know, after a good off season, and then, you know, first day of camp, something happens, whatever it may be, put on those pads, um, things can happen. So um, guys are battling injuries. Battling injuries is part of the game and um, continuing to, you know, continue to keep getting better, whatever I can, um, and just trying to stay as healthy as possible. Now that you've been here, it's been about a half season. Being with Tom, being around him in the huddle, is there anything that you could tell us that maybe you didn't realize? You know, you've been around him now. Yeah. Um, well, I think it's just you know a lot of people see the on the field um, aspect of what he does, um, and even for myself coming into or uh, coming onto this team, that's all I saw. I didn't know much, you know, how he works and operates off the field and. Uh, you know, he's a dedicated guy to this game and um, obviously his accolades speak for itself and uh, you don't get those accolades without, you know, being that guy that grinds off the field. So um, not that it's a surprise to me. Um, it's just, um, you know, it's nice to be able to see something like that as well. Um, a guy that's uh, been doing it for quite that long and uh, to still continue to keep achieving some great things and uh, at a very high level as well. So. Thank you. Um, last week, uh, the Packers Way, way, way high up. And I'm curious, I felt like I heard somewhere that that's pretty typical of when you're trying to get like visiting yeah. tickets yep. on the road. Can you talk a little bit about that? And like, is that what happens? Like, you get seated really high up? What's that process like? Yeah, um, it, it all depends on the team, um, you know, where they put their uh, visitors, uh, you know, families and whatnot. Some guys end up going through StubHub, uh, yeah. trying to find a little bit better of seats because they're normally priced a little bit better as well. Um, but uh, maybe he was just trying to save a couple of bucks. He's a rookie, so or I think he's a, he's a rookie, right? Yeah, yeah. So he's yeah, he's just trying to save a couple of dollars. Totally understandable. I uh, actually admire that. So um, yeah. Ah, uh, geez, I actually have no idea. I let my wife handle the away tickets. Um, quite honestly, they when you purchase them through the team, they're actually a little bit more expensive. So I just say, hey, go on StubHub and find some better tickets there. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. So I'm all about saving the, a couple of pennies where I can. <laughs> Pass protection is obviously a big part of your job, and this is a Washington team that you know, is known for getting after the quarterback. What jumps out at you when you watch them? Yeah, um, I think that's, that's every week. Um, every single week they're going to try to bring pressure. Um, I've always been the type of guy, uh, you know, you just have to uh, want to be as – you know, PG as possible, but you just have to handle your own business. Um, at the end of the day, those guys are probably going to outweigh me or whatever. It is what it is. Uh, just have to put your nose in there and uh, get it done. So, yeah. And you've been through a lot of bye weeks with teams. Is there anything different that stands out to you about this team coming out of the bye? Because a lot of times you see teams, 
they come out of the bye and they're a little sluggish. They're maybe not as in sync. Coach Arians is like, that's not really a problem for us. We, I don't have to get on my guys about working hard. What have you seen about this group maybe that's different? Yeah, if anything? for sure. Well, I think coming off uh, coming off the loss, guys were, were already wanting to come back. Yeah, obviously, you know, the bye, guys needed the time off, but I think everybody had that uh, sour taste taste in their mouth to come back and get to work. Um, and then just an overall aspect of coming off the bye, you know, for guys, um, I think guys are just ready to get back to work. Um, you know, obviously a lot of guys are getting back healthy. Um, so, yeah, so I think it's just an opportunity for us to regroup, get back together, get back to work. But that's one thing that I've never felt about this team that uh, we lacked was hard work. Guys are always working, and that's one thing that um, I've noticed day in and day out is how hard these guys work continuously. Um, I mean, you still hear the jugs going off. Guys are still working. So um, it's just one of those things that uh, this team is, you know, we have the players to be able to do what they these guys did last year. Um, so it's just a matter of putting all the pieces together. What can you say about playing behind this offensive line, whether it's in the passing game, they're keeping Tom Brady upright, and the run game has really come along these last couple of weeks. How's it been playing behind them? Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing is just the, uh, the communication uh, between, you know, the linemen, Tom, uh, and the running backs. That's a, that's a huge thing. And, and, and obviously in football in general, uh, communication is key, but I think it's even more uh, important for the offensive line to have overall great communication with the quarterbacks and the running backs. Um, Cause a lot of, obviously there's a lot of different looks that we're going to get um, for guys, you know, for teams or opponents trying to stop, you know, our offense. So they're going to give us some crazy looks, but I think if our communication is on, on, uh, on a high level, I think uh, this offense can do a really good job. And we've been able to do that, obviously a couple hicc hiccups here and there, but uh, I think that's part of it, but just uh, continue to grow in the communication. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't think there's ever a time where I doubt that this offense can't um, can't do what you know whatever's in front of them. Uh, whether if it's hey, there's 30 seconds left and we got to drive the entire field to score, set up a field goal, whatever it may be. Um, we have the players to be able to do something really, really great. Um, and I think it's just a matter of guys just continuing to grow um, as a team. Um, obviously, there's new pieces, new players, but for the most part, it's the general same team as last year. So they know, um, you know what this team can achieve, and I think it's just a matter of uh, putting all those pieces together and uh, just continuing to grow together as a team.